In today's Clash Royale video, we will take a look at the newest Clash Royale update at the Massive Balance August update from August 22. Yes, uh, 2022. So uh, yesterday I did a video about that. I will like Supercell gave us the list to the creators and we collected feedback from you guys. Today we will kind of talk about the feedback, some concerns from the community and also some other suggestions from you guys. So if you guys don't want to miss any update information in the future and like this kind of video where I'm talking about the collecting feedback, giving it to Supercell, make sure to subscribe and also Make sure to give a fat thumbs up on the video and also give or I put creator good more in the show. Really appreciate it. I would say let's dive jump into that with the first comment here today. As I said, taking a look at the comments here. So from the video, the first guy here, Sam Brown, is saying, I disagree with Fireball. I saw it coming, but I didn't think they actually would do it. This is like a comment which I got a ton. I know where it's coming from. The Fireball itself, it's one of the most strongest spells. It might be. Right now, win percentage wise and usage wise, the most consistent and most solid spell for such a long time, especially after Lock or the Nerf, with being like the best spell by far. Um, and Fireball is also a big spell. So just outplays all the big spells, kind of out, um, yeah, out stats, if, it, if that's even a word, currently all the big spells. Yeah, I agree with that, but I just think also that's the feedback what I got from the Twitter community in general, pro community, they don't really agree with the choice nerfing it. And I also agree with you guys that i disagree with the change of supercell so i just hope they're gonna change it a bit as we guys can also can hear i think somebody was like actually saying yeah here haha is saying fireball of is so ridiculous and i say maybe they could have reduced the knockback range to 1.5 instead of one yeah this is just ridiculous how like the knockback really affects because knockback it's not really doing anything anymore like if you're playing lava and especially like with the execution above um maybe call is not happy about that but right now it's it feels impossible to push back or like push tubes into the bag up from the lava one. I can an example of a lava on mega minion. You really want to push the executioner into your mega minion, but this is not possible because the executioner, first of all, got a buff, and second of all, the pushback it's not really like helping anymore. It's not really necessary um to have fireball in deck anymore. I think that none of these buffs are needed. They could all nerf all the spawners with half nerf or life spawn and support all the nerfs. I mean, bro, maybe we play a different game, but for me at least, uh, spawners are fine. The Lexical and Rework, I feel is kind of genius. Maybe the HP is a little overtuned, but the concept is, yeah. This is also some feedback I got, the Lexical, I thought this is going to be a really hated change from Supercell, since it's E-Golem. Same for Electric Giant. It's, it's like, you see the card, it's a buff or a rework, or it's already bad. It's bad, right? But I agree with that. You don't really want to have to matter. I want to have this card matter. So I think, yeah, it's an interesting change. Maybe you see it in some decks alone. Maybe in some not really no-brain decks. Even I think Elixirum is a no-brain card. But yeah, I agree. The concept is interesting. You need to chill with the Fireball. In my opinion, the Electric Giant will, a nerf will probably make the card so bad, but that's what we will all want, lol. It will definitely not make it bad. That's what D-Dog says. See, I agree with the second answer for the answer on the comment. I think e gem will still be viable, especially if they don't nerf Mirror. Also, everybody wrote, Mirror needs a nerf, and I think they will, they will, they will still nerf this card. I'm 90% sure. So, I already know when they don't do it, people will say, Morton, you told us it's gonna get nerfed. Man, they need to. It's so broken. So, this is the exact reason why I still think EGM will be viable when they don't nerf Mirror. I do agree with the Fireball nerf. Please tell them to make like 1.5 tiles. This is what I told them already. So, yeah, I agree with that. Does Fireball pushback nerf, man, uh, nerf means Balloon gets to tower now? Yes, this is exactly what it means. I would love to see the Rambine and Goblin and Giant get buffed because you never see them. I don't think EGM champions nerf are enough lol um i agree all champions need a nerf in my mind i think you guys are agreeing with that since you don't have champions so that you don't really care about it just that they're like destroying you and um, i also agree with the ram by the buff i didn't i thought like the, the ram by the nerf wasn't really necessary with the goblin giant buff i don't really agree because there's some goblin giant spam decks giant goblin giant double prince and also some goblin giant sparky decks um i agree with everything that you want an additional nerf too but i would also want to nerf to skeletons and tombstone since for the elixir cost stuff defensive for too much time so yeah once I agree at this, like at, at Tombstone, yeah, I get the point. Tombstone may might get a nerf or should get a nerf. I agree with that. Um, skeletons, I might be a bit biased since I'm a 2.6 hawk cycle. I don't know, not a 2.6, but I'm a cycle player in general. I'm a cycle player in general, so I just think their concept isn't broken. I think they're fine. I think they they're just like they're good as they are. I think they're part of the game. Yeah, they're good. They're for one elixir. They're also not easy to play. There's some kiting stuff moves. Um, I just think they belong there. Maybe. 
um, it's just a bias cycle opinion. I think Neo need to be the same elixir in the same level, still gonna be broken, right? Because you already used your counter, that card is basically just fast cycle, like how Hawk Cycle is because out cycle your counter mirror does not uh, does that for no elixir. Yeah, that's exactly also what I was saying in this video, right? With E-Giant Mirror. This is this is why E-Giant is so OP for sure. Also, the level helps. Mod does not need a nerf. It's not been a matter for years if it's nerfed a little back how it was. I think it needs a nerf, Alex. I think you're a mortar player. I hope I didn't see double joy prints back in the matter. Thanks, dude. I actually agree with that. We need cannon nerf. Uh, we need a cannon nerf. It's so broken. Yeah, cannon also on the list might need a nerf. Forgot to talk about it. You're right. Um, I always thought of feeling scam when playing against the Elixir Golden decks. The opponent reaches 10 Elixir in a bar by um, the time when I kill the Eagle and receive the Elixir Golden from Plops. My counter push will be like nothing since they're ready with full Elixir bar already. I. Get the point there, Elixir Golem is right now a top ladder, not really somebody is using the card since it's pretty easy to defend, especially in the current matter with all the fireball cycle decks. If you're not really experienced in Clash and you're a beginner, you're playing against an over, -like, over level Elixir Golem deck since the deck in general, there's no outplay potential, so brain dead. I get the point, it's pretty frustrating to play against it. So, yeah, might be not the right choice, but maybe like the Elixir Golem in general itself won't be as skillless as it is right now. You get the Elixir faster, so it might be better for casuals actually. Let me know what you guys think about it, by the way. I think I would like flexion damage is huge. It would be, it, I would say it's a great start. Um, at least because the damage that hurts you the most. Yeah, maybe, yeah, you're right. Now we got like a really interesting opinion, which I saw quite some time, surprising for my Self. Um, Tornado also needs a nerf. I know this is probably controversial. I don't hate Tornado using some of my decks. It's just that King Declaration should not be that easy. And on top of that, it allows for some of the most toxic combinations to exist. E Giant, Nado, Golden Knight, Nado, Magic, Arch, Nado, Nado, everything into beat and push, Nado, things away from Goblin Rules, etc. The fact that you can just move cards. Um, by the way, uh, you cannot see everything here. I apologize for that, but it's just su such a long text. But I really enjoy reading that. So great comment, man. The fact that you can just move cards means that placement are, um, doesn't matter nearly as much. It allows for a much bigger merge of error. That definitely not helps for the game. Not to mention that splash cards would be so much easier to balance with Nado being weaker. Isis, uh, Isis, for example, was not strong before he got nerfed. That made him a way below average card. Isis plus Nado, on the other hand, was definitely too strong. The problem card was the Nado, not Isis. Execution is weak as well and deserved a better buff. But I can't do that because of Nado. It would be too strong. It's very um, if not impossible to make all the splash cards right without them dominating the decks, uh, the matter with decks that use Tornado. Honestly, if I think about the comment, he might be right. It's a smart comment. I guess Tornado, there are like always two parts. Like people are saying Tornado is the most high skill card in the game. You can play like, you can pull troops to the um, opposite lane. You can pull troops behind the tower. It's about like a perfect king tower activation. Like pull troops in the middle or like skulls in the middle or like pull to um Troops of Tornado in the middle, activate King Tower of Skulls or something. But I guess right now, after Tornado being out for four years, three years, I think three and a half, four years, um, we kind of need to say that Tornado isn't really hard to play anymore. And it's pretty frustrating since, especially if you're a Hawk Raider player, for like the plus one um, thing that you can activate King Tower. And yeah, also for me, it's also about the offensive Tornado because there's some things like some combinations with Tornado which you cannot defend. Magic Arch Tornado, Golden Eye Tornado. This, you cannot really defend this combination. You always get damage, doesn't matter what you do. And also what he says here, that each giant like each and golden knight tornado that's a really toxic combination so he might be right he might be like a smart call to maybe change jane let me know what you guys think i think tornado got reworked twice already but it didn't um yeah didn't really do the job so here's one guy um as a Mega Warbreaker user, I can say that 2.6 has been a super hard matchup ever since the spawn damage of the Mega not killing Hawk before it gets a hit. I do not care about the jump speed at all. Okay, so yeah, right now the Hawk Rider gets more shots than he did before. Yeah, I get it. I still think the Mega buff is the right one. Um, Here, another guy is not agreeing with that. All the buff sounds great and the Fireball nerf sounds right because like 70% of all decks on Fireball. This is also some opinions I got, like not really that much compa compared to the other opinions, but also I think a viable opinion at least. I really like the spell change as a Prince MK player, but I, like, I just want to like get back to that, um, to the Fireball topic for one second. Most people, they were really angry. They were really angry since like Fireball is such an... Fireball is like... I really it's a solid card. It's like Log, right? Every single deck almost has Fireball. I think like Log, more people has Log, have Log in their deck since it's a small spell. But right now, it feels like everybody has Fireball level up. Like, let me know in the comment section. What's uh, what's your most leveled up card? Which was the card you maxed first? Because I think a ton of you guys had at least Fireball in the top five. Um, so I think the E-Gen would be dead, or we we have the balance. E-Gen is the wing condition should take towers. 
I disagree, man. I still think E-Gen will be really, really so good because it's not like it doesn't do damage to towers anymore. Just maybe easier to fend or like if you do a mistake against it, you don't really take too much damage. Um, so here we got an interesting list from Clash Royale. E-Golem, I'm happy with it. Okay. Uh, Mega, please do not buff. Middle will be worse. Yeah, I get the point, but I think the buff isn't as big as you might think. Um, Clash Royale and also... If we're honest, Mega Knight right now is not too great. Um, yeah, Axian Prince, unnecessary, um, but still fine, I guess. Yeah, that's actually exactly same. Unnecessary, but still fine is for me for the Prince. For the XC, I would say, um, yeah, I, w I agree with the change. I was I just like pretty interested to see, so this is my point. Yeah, Ice Skull, not bad. I agree. I think Ice Skull needs a small buff, as said already yesterday. Fireball, way to overkill. I agree. Fire Spit and Skeleton King, not bad. Each and good. Golden Knight, it feels like not a lot. We will see. I kind of almost agree with all the things he said there. Um, Elixir Pump can't ever be balanced, but it barely nerfed. Um, yeah, Elixir Pump is a really controversial card, but I think, yeah, with Mirror. Without Mirror, I would, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't really talk about that. Um, I swear when I play against Drill, no matter what, how much I outplay them, it just get damage constantly. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what I was um, also worried about. He, like, this is just crazy how really good um, Drill is, and I'm surprised that it didn't put it on the list. So here we got a buff Drill, guys. So what the heck, man? Do you get paid for saying that? Bro, Morton, we need to take a chill pill. Drill itself is not broken. Drill Bridgem is a problem. People think Drill is broken because of all the Golden Knight dashes in Bridgem X, but after Golden Knight, it will... They shouldn't have a Skelly Giant because it's also a problem Drill Bridgem. Yeah, I agree with that. Don't forget that Drill Control is still a thing. Especially with Vile Control not too popular right now due to the Golden Knight decks being better. You even said yourself like the Drill Bridge Bam decks are so repowered, then you should be happy since Golden Knight is getting nerfed. I also don't think Queen or Mighty Mighty nerf. Yeah, maybe some of you guys agree. I actually disagree with almost all he says because I think Queen and Mighty Miner need a nerf since right now Mighty Miner isn't really that much used because of Electric Giant and Queen. I think it's generally just broken, especially after two champions get nerfed. You just use the other champions since Mighty Miner also does like similar stuff than the Golden Knight. For sure, Golden Knight way more bridge and cards, but they're both tanky, both mini tanks. So in Mortar decks, that example, Mighty Miner still works um, pretty well. Um, and I think Lockbit will be really, really great um, and insane. And the thing is, I think, like, even after the Golden Knight meta, uh, before the Golden Knight meta, there were, like, dual decks where two were busted. There was, like, a 2.6 Mighty Miner deck, if you guys don't know, with the cannon and the dual, the fireball. Then there were, like, some other decks, like, some other Goblin rule decks. Um, the Skelly King one, which got nerfed, but I still think will remain really strong. So, I just think, and also the Valk Bomber one, I just think not just because of the Golden Knight nerf, which is, I still think playable. I don't really think the drill, the concept feels just busted, right? The concept feels just busted in a combination of the free card cycle and always getting damage. I just think that's not how Clash Royale should be played. Maybe I'm biased because I hated this card, but let me know what you guys think. So, um, Prince doesn't need a buff. e needs a much bigger nerf. e golden and Rework shouldn't buff, uh, shouldn't buff the subunits. Fireball doesn't need a nerf. Um, Golden Knight is broken because of the dash and the HP. Yes, Executioner doesn't need any change. Ah, I agree with everything besides the Executioner. So, let's get one last comment. I think Mur is busted due to champions. Remove, remove Mur and champs in the same deck solves Mur issue. One or the other. So, this is an interesting point. This is like the last point I want to get because I saw a, a similar comment earlier. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about that? Just making sure champions and Mur are not in the same deck. Um... Because it's all about the free card cycle and ability. So you can use E Giant, murder E Giant, have like a queen on the map, go for something else, and go for another E Giant. This feels broken, right? So this might be a play, this might be the idea. Let me know what you guys think about that. And also, thank you so much for all the comments. Write more comments than that. Tell me your opinion about my opinion, about the opinion of my viewers. Now it's time out. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and goodbye, guys.